Welcome to the One Star Weak Foot Show, your one-stop shop for player reviews, starring your host, One Star Weak Foot, and our review specialist, One Star Weak Foot. Good evening and welcome to the One Star Weak Foot Show, your one-stop shop for player reviews. I'm going to be your host today, One Star Weak Foot, and it makes me feel tremendous to see you back on the channel today. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, as you can tell by the thumbnail, you guys are getting two for the price of one. We're gonna be doing a double review today and we're reviewing possibly two of the best midfielders um, in the game. I was gonna say two of the best midfielders in team of the season so far, but no, no, no. They're two of the best midfielders in the game. The first one's gonna be this 92 rated team of the season so far, Phillips card. And yo, when you look at this card, I can't believe what they've done to him. This is probably the best championship player I've ever seen on FIFA. He's 5 for 10. He has medium high work rates. He's right footed with a three star, three star combination. I have played five games and rivals with him. I got one goal and one assist. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying the content, if you wanna see more content like this, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all you guys at home for watching this video. So, when you look at this Phillips card, I mean, Jesus Christ, he is in the Hullet gang, but even more than just Hullet gang, he's in his own category. Every single face stat is above 87. His pace is tremendous. His shooting stats are very nice. His passing really helps him live up to that um, nickname that he does have, the Yorkshire Perlo. His dribbling stats are very nice. His defending and physical are absolutely insane. I mean, this guy has the potential to be better than Moments Vieira, to be as good as Hullet in game. Is he going to be that good though? We're going to find out. The next card we're going to be talking about here is this 91 rated SBC Moments um, Goretzka card. And we look at this Goretzka card. Once again, he has the potential to be on that Hullet Vieira level. He's 6'2". He has high medium work rates, which is not that good of a thing because last year and in previous years, he's had the high, high work rates. That's part of his appeal. This year, they changed it. And now he has high medium work rates. Is it going to affect him negatively? We're going to find out. Um, he's right footed. He has a four star weak foot, three star skill moves. I played five games in rivals with him. I got four goals and zero assists. And when you look at this card, man, um, it looks insane as well. He has the pace. This shooting stats are mental. If you want an offensive CDM, if you want them overlapping from the midfield, I mean, what more do you want out of a, um, out of his shooting stats? I mean, he could even play Cam with that shooting and passing that he does possess. His dribbling is very nice as well. I mean, 91 dribbling, 94 ball control is more than I even expected on this kind of upgrade. His defending and physical is solid as well. So, without further ado, I'm gonna take you over to our review specialist in the studio, One Star Weakford. Take it away. Thanks, One Star. So, as my colleague told you today, we were gonna be doing two reviews in one episode. And the first player we're gonna be talking about here is this 91 rated Goretzka card. His SBC is costing you 530,000 coins and there's no returns. He is untradeable. Your coins are gone. Is he worth the money? I would have to say absolutely. Let's break down the stats. So, first we're gonna be talking about 89 pace. How's it feeling game? And in game, he was very, very quick. He felt rapid to track up and down the pitch. His acceleration is all the way up at 92. And you definitely feel that. Um, coming out of the skill moves, with his improved dribbling, felt very, very nice. And when it came to getting countered, this guy was always one of the first players to track back. Overall, I can give this guy a nine out of 10 pace wise. Next, we're gonna talk about this guy shooting in. Oh my God. That's all I gotta say about shooting. Oh my God. Um, the first thing we're gonna talk about here is his attack positioning. He has 92 attack positioning. And in game, I had him playing CDM in a four triple two. In that formation, you only have two midfielders. So you need them to be able to push forward and track backwards. And pushing forward, this guy was a monster. I had him on balanced settings and he was making very, very dangerous runs inside the box. And that's why he scored so many goals for me. He got four goals in five games, which is actually quite tremendous for a CDM. His attack positioning was very nice. His finishing inside the box on either foot was very reliable. He definitely lives up to his 88 finishing. His shot power on long shots is also no as well I scored a nice outside the box shot I think it was a finesse that hit top bins he definitely is a very capable uh, finisher and overall I gotta give this guy shooting a 9 out of 10 as far as CDMs go you're not really gonna find any better than this next we're gonna talk about this guy's passing 
And once again, he lives up to his stats. He has 89 passing as his face stat. He has 91 vision, 93 short passing as well as 87 long passing. So as far as distributing the ball from deep lying positions, this guy can do it. Also, if these guys are around the box in a tight area, you need a nice, precise pass to break that defense. This guy's gonna be able to do it as well. Overall, this guy's passing is also a nine out of 10. Next, we wanna talk about this guy's dribbling. And this is one thing that really surprised me in game because he's six foot two, right? But he has very good dribbling stats. 91 dribbling is nothing to scoff at. And it definitely helped him not feel clunky. Because in this game, as you guys know, you need to be able to dribble um, to be a meta player. I mean, that's why Vieira is not used very often in the CDM position anymore as he was in previous years. And this Goretzka card is very, very smooth on the ball. I mean, I have to double check his height. Cause he didn't feel like he was six foot two. He was uh, pretty much gliding on the ball whenever I chose to activate the L1 strafe dribbling, when I chose to activate the L1 R1 close control dribbling. And his left stick dribbling is actually very nice, responsive, reactive. He's not very clunky to turn at all. I think some of this is due to the fact that he has a lanky body type. He doesn't have that much stock to him. So in game, he's able to move, to glide, um, to not really feel too clunky, too much like a truck on the ball. Um, so overall, I give this guy's dribbling um again a nine out of ten next we're gonna talk about this guy's defending and physical and i'm gonna group these two uh categories together because they go hand in hand so the first thing i really noticed about this card is him breaking up play was insane he has those viera like spider legs so it really helps him as far as breaking up play goes he has 88 interceptions as well and i didn't really notice his medium defensive work rates really hindering his ability to be in the right position to break up play his defensive ai was very very nice his stand tackle is only 82 and i say only because this is such a tremendously um overpowered card but 82 is one of his lower stats um defensively that is going to be a stand tackle he has 87 aggression and 81 strength you might be wondering how does he feel going into a tackle going to a challenge i think he feels very solid okay and i do see the potential here for him to get overpowered by certain team of the season cards that come out like if somebody gets a ronaldo or if somebody gets um one of those stronger cards like a toro martinez they might be able to hold this guy off where he does make up for it though is the fact that he has these long legs like i said he has these viera like spider legs so if he gets beat um, on the first tackle, he's able to tackle from behind, wrap his legs around, and get that challenge in anyway. So I think that's definitely positive marks in that regard. He has 93 stamina. This means he lasts all game long. So overall, I gotta give this guy's defending and physical an 8.75 out of 10. He's very good defensively. If you need him to play CDM, he could definitely do that. He's brilliant at breaking up play. His tackling is decent. Um, at times, he can get outstrengthened, but at the same time, he's very decent in that regard. All right, guys, so next we're going to be talking about this 92 rated Phillips card. I mean, it's crazy how much of an upgrade he's gotten, and he's now selling at 940,000 coins on the market. Is he worth the money? I would have to say if you could link him on 10 chem in your team, I would have to say absolutely. This guy's an absolute beast, and in my opinion, one of the best CDMs on this game. We're going to break down the stats, though, so you know exactly what to expect at home. So, first we're going to talk about his pace, 87 pace. How does it feel in game? And as you would expect, this guy's very quick to track up and down the pitch. Um, he feels very quick um, if you're getting countered to really be able to track back and help you stop that counter. That being said, going forward, he also has a decent acceleration coming out of skill moves, and he just overall feels like a quick, quick card. Overall, I'm gonna give this guy's pace an 8.5 out of 10. Next, we're gonna talk about shooting, and I didn't get to test it as much as Goretzka's shooting because his positioning was different than Goretzka. I mean, he was also playing CDM, but because he has medium high work rates, he didn't really push forward as much as Goretzka did. That being said, though, I can comment on a few things. His attack positioning at 88 is very nice. I definitely noticed that in game. His finishing inside the box seems to be reliable. I did score one goal with him, and it was on his weak foot, which is the three star weak foot, which says to me that his finishing will be reliable if we get it into the right position. He has 99 shot power so that means that if you shoot that thing on target it's gonna beat the keeper nine times out of ten and overall i gotta give this guy shooting an 8.5 out of 10. next we're gonna talk about this guy's passing and this is the aspect of this card that stood out to me the most this guy really lives up to his nickname of Yorkshire Perlow. Um, his long passing and short passing is maxed out at 99. He has 90 vision. And where I really noticed this is when I was doing these driven lofted through balls. If you guys don't know how to do that, you have to press L1 and R1 and triangle at the same time. And it gives you a lofted through ball that's driven. So it's not too high. And you really need good passing to perform this at a high level to get that pass off very nice so it's not too 
too hard, but at the same time, not too high. This guy's driven lofted through balls were insane. He had probably the best driven lofted through balls I have seen on this game. Um, as far as his passing in tight areas around the box, he was very, very nice. He has 99 composure, which means that he doesn't get pressured. Um, even if you're pressuring him, even if he's off balance, he's still gonna make that pass. Overall, this guy's passing is a 9.5 out of 10. Next, we're gonna talk about this guy's dribbling and in game. His dribbling felt very similar to Moment Sadorf. If you've ever used any um, version of Sadorf, this Phillips card feels very similar in game in a lot of ways. Um, they have a very similar body type where they're not the tallest, they're not the shortest, they're in the middle, and they're very stocky at the same time. They're very wide. And in game, this guy is able to dribble very well. He has 87 agility, 92 bounds. Um, he feels very re reactive, very responsive on the ball. He feels like a very smooth, um, compact truck. Um, he feels very similar to Tevez, like Sadorf as far as turning goes. His actual dribbling and ball control is very nice as well. He has 83 dribbling, 92 ball control, 99 composers. So he is able to L1 dribble. He is able to strafe dribble, left stick dribble very effectively, and he is a very press resistant card. Overall, I gotta give this guy's dribbling a 9 out of 10. Next, we're gonna talk about this guy's defending and physical, and this part of the card blew me away, I have to say. Defensively and physically, um, I have to say, this is probably top three CDMs I have used on this game. He does not um, disappoint when it comes to living up to his stats. He definitely lives up to them. The first thing I really noticed about this card is his stand tackling. He has 94 stand tackling, 96 aggression, and 94 strength. This guy does not lose 50-50 chances. He does not lose 50-50 duels. Um, the only player I can really see out strength in this card is probably Moments Vieira or, or, or Middle or Prime Hullet. Any other card other than that, this guy was winning um, the, the shoulder to shoulders, the 50-50s, and going into the challenge, this guy felt very powerful, but at the same time, very accurate, very clean. I really, really like this guy's stand tackle. His interceptions in 91 definitely played a part as well. He's very good at breaking up play. His defensive AI is very smart with his 95, 91 de defensive awareness, and he has 98 stamina, 93 jumping. I mean, physically and defensively, this guy is probably one of the best CDMs you could bring in. Um, and his impact was unquestionable at the CDM position. When I had him and Goretzka playing in the midfield, I mean, I felt bad for my opponents. They could not get through the midfield. These two bossed the midfield together. Overall, I gotta give this guy's defending and physical a 10 out of 10. It is absolutely flawless. All right, guys, so what do I think about these two cards? Who's the better card? I have to say, if you need a pure CDM, Phillips is unquestionably the better card in that scenario. But if you need a CM, if you need an attacking CDM that could finish inside the box and that can dribble very well, I do think Goretzka does offer more in that uh, regard. Overall, I gotta give Phillips and Goretzka a 9.5 out of 10. They're almost equally as good as each other. And if you need um, an offensive CDM, I will go Goretzka. If you need a pure CDM that can also finish in the box and pass very accurately, I will go Phillips. But either way, you can't go wrong with either one of these guys. They are amazing, amazing cards, and I really enjoyed trying them out. All right, guys, so hopefully you found these reviews helpful. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, deuces.